I'm Carrie. This is Student Loan Chit Chat. I know about you guys, but I think I'm looking pretty snazzy today in my matching, matching little outfit here. All right. All right. Here we go. Dave Ramsey, I'm seeing signs of financial infidelity with my fiance. I can tell you right now, run, run, run. I don't even have to watch the video. We can end the story right here. If you see it, see what you believe. All right. Run. But before we do that, let's make a reaction video. Heath is with us in Jacksonville, Florida. Hi, Heath. How are you? Oh, Jacksonville, Florida, about three hours from where I'm at here in Tampa. Hey, Dave. I'm nervous. How are you doing? No troubles. What's up? Um, Nobody ever calls Dave because they're, you know, sane, solid, and stable. <laughs> I'm kind of worried that this, my fiancé, is lying about payments and this and that and the other thing. We can end the video. End it. What, what When your gut instinct tells you that's what's happening, I mean, you, you can try to clarify it and all that, but I am telling you, end it, end it. Um, the problem that I'm running into is that she makes, she's a financial manager um, making about 70000 a year, and I'm making twenty. Um she makes seventy and he makes he makes twenty? Like he makes twenty thousand a year? I think I hold on, I gotta replay, make sure I heard that right. Hold on. And I'm making twenty. Um, that's quite that's quite the split. All right. Um and we bought a car recently. Um what does Dave say? Again, if you want to hear this without all my gabbing in between, you know, the video is always in the description box. Okay. He said, we bought a car. Boy, this guy's been in 40 seconds and we know she makes 70, he makes 20. She's a financial manager right there is a little irony for you. Okay. Seeing signs of financial infidelity with my financial manager fiance. Oh, this is going to be good. You know what? I have Chick-fil-A. I should have gotten some hot tea instead. Ugh, take my own advice. Before I started getting serious into your book and um good for him we've made three payments and all three payments there's been issues um with because it was the understanding that she would make the payments her car this and that and other thing i just had to like co-sign oh 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 buddy what does dave say what do i say don't co-sign Never ever goes out, especially with somebody you're not married to. All right. And I've said it before. The only person you should co-sign with, it should be parent to child. I genuinely believe that is where the co-signing should begin and end. You do not co-sign. It weakens you. It weakens your financial power when you co-sign. And I'm talking about the co-signer. It weakens you. It puts your credit risk at jeopardy. It puts the organization that you have laid out for your bills in jeopardy. So when you co-sign, you are now at the whim and mercy of the company that you co-signed for. That is a situation um, I personally would not wish to be in. Oh my goodness. And we aren't even, oh people, we aren't even a minute in the video. Did, did your heart drop? Did it drop? Um, she and makes more money than you, and you yeah, had to co-sign for her. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, she makes seventy grand. Okay, without my part with with my part time job, she makes about five thousand dollar. Excuse me, she makes about a five thousand dollar a year difference from me. If I kick in my part time job, you know, I can get it up there closer. Okay, she makes about five grand more than me. Why the heck is somebody with 20,000 cosign? And how did he even become his cosigner anyways? Usually the cosigner is supposed to be, you know, the one that's in the better credit score, the stronger, more secure position. Oh, please don't tell me they went to Big Jim Buck Bob's used car deals. Wait a minute. Why, why did you have to cosign for if she makes three times what you Thank make? Thank you. Because she had a Chapter 7 bankruptcy three years ago. Oh, she and I could have been friends. She and I, three years ago, she, could have, she and I could have been friends. Well, I'm, I, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. And it apparently dropped her credit down to... Nothing. 
It, it apparently, no, that that's what bankruptcy does. It, I don't, I don't care if it's chapter seven, chapter thirteen. It it, 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 it tanks it at least for a while. Yeah, that's what a chapter right, seven does. Yeah, you know? Exactly. Destroyed mm. her credit. Okay. Right. But even with the destroying her credit, how? Of course, you know what? Now I can understand how a guy who makes twenty thousand a year um, became a co-signer. Car dealerships. The the if you have DNA, okay, and you could say so much as woof woof, they'll give you a car. <laughs> she didn't have right. any credit. She got bad credit. Oh, but, okay. So. Uh, and don't forget, she's a financial manager. Oh, right. How expensive and is this my car? My credit's gone up to like six forty. Okay. How much? How, how, it's not going to stay there, buddy. It ain't going to stay at six forty. Expensive was this car. Mm. Time for bets. All right, everybody, take your bets. Take your bets. Betting time. How much do we think the car is? She's a financial manager. She filed Chapter Seven, which is the full bankruptcy, whereas Chapter Thirteen is the reorganization. She filed Chapter Seven. Um, I'm going to say it was. She's clearly not good at managing money. I can relate. Uh, let's, I'm going to say $30,000 is the car. It's probably a used car, probably a slightly nicer used car, and she's a financial manager. She's clearly not good with money, so this is someone who's going to go above, I would suspect, is someone who's going to go above what they can afford. Let's say $30,000. Uh, uh, 20 Okay. Uh, well, okay, no snaps. It's 20 I'm glad to know it's 20 but why the hell is he co-signing for someone he's not married to? And when are you guys scheduled to be married? Ah, I get snapped for that. Um, we want to get married in June. Okay. Okay, and this was five years ago. I doubt they're together today. I know that's not very nice of me, okay? No, I, I hope they're together today in wedded bliss. And so, um, have you sat down and said, okay, you, you've had three payments. We're 0 for 3 on the payments, which means as a financial manager, you're <laughs> oh, not very Lord. good. We're 0 for 3 on the payments. Has he sat down with her? No, he has not sat down with her. If he had sat down with her and they had discussed all this stuff before, during, and after, he'd have no reason to call into Dave Ramsey. At it. And uh, so why, what's going on? Are you bank. broke? What? Because the money's in the bank. She's made the payments. I've seen the payments. Like, for example, this last payment, um, I visually saw it. I've, I've seen her physically make the payment three times, and I saw it on the regional acceptance website. She can make a payment and then cancel it. She can make a payment, say, hey, payment's all made, and then go back in and cancel that payment within so many hours. Um, she made it like a week ago. Yesterday, it wasn't on their website anymore. Yeah, she canceled the dude. You are getting taken for a ride. You are getting taken for a ride. I can tell you that. You are being, I mean, you you are on the the what is it? The water the the water slide where you sit in a barrel and you just roll that down that what is it? A Disney ride or one of those rides? Oh, she's making the payment, and then I'm telling you, I, I could be wrong. I hope I am. Yeah, she makes the payment. She shows you that the payment is there, and you go, oh, great. You've made your, your payment to FNBO, Capital One, Macy's, whatever. And then like a little rat in the night, over a keyboard, she hits delete, delete. So then you go look at the next day, and it shows no payment is made. That would be the only reason no payment would be shown. That is the only reason. If these are online payments that she's making, every uh, bill I've ever paid online, you can look it up. You can look it up. If it is not showing up online, it's not showing up in your bank statement, like you call your bank and say, show me the receipt, then she's canceling the payments. I don't understand. That really long pause was Dave Ramsey. It was not me. He was thinking. That doesn't make sense. Um yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Of course. Yes, it does make sense. It actually does make sense. I understand why they're saying it doesn't, because it's like, well, she made No, she's canceling. And some companies, depending upon, and I would ask them, what time is she making these payments at? Because most, a lot of companies will give you till like, I don't know, I'll just throw a number out there, 5 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time, for you to be able to cancel it. So she's going to go, oh, here, honey, 1 o'clock. PM, I made the payment, and you're like, oh, great, you know, wonderful fiance, got my concerns, but I think you're still pretty cool. 
and then the next day you look and it's gone. See what time, this is what I tell this guy, see what, see how late payments can be canceled. I can make a car payment with my car company and that car payment can be canceled up to evening hours Eastern Standard Time. And I can make it look, and I can make it look like it was totally paid. Oh, good paid. And I can go and go, eh, change my mind. She's, I don't know she's making a payment. I don't know if she's and pulling. truly making the payment. Oh, I don't want to say gullible much. I don't want to ask, are you gullible much? Dude, this woman, she ain't no good for you. She is no good. Or if regional acceptance is being strange for some reason, I don't no, know. No, I guess that's your bank, regional acceptance, I, I'm assuming. No, your bank's not being strange. She's just showing her true character. Banks aren't strange in that regard. Not saying that there's never a horror story with somebody's bank. And I deposited my $20,000 inheritance check and then Bank of America kept it and wouldn't turn it back into me. And then I had to go to Dateline and report it. And we had to do a whole news expose to get my money back. I understand those stories do come out from time to time. But in general, no. The bank's not being weird. You need to look at who you lying next to at night. That's the person that's being weird. No, I don't either, but I would want to get to the bottom of this because let me just tell you, dude. I got to the bottom of it for you and I did it in 11 minutes. <laughs> when someone will lie about anything, they'll lie about anything. And so if she's right. lying about this, um, this is uh, time to tap the brakes on getting married. It's not just time to tap the brakes. It's time to self-reflect and ask, where did I go wrong? Because somebody that'll lie about that will lie about anything. Right. And she canceled the payments, dude. She canceled the payments. She took the money, and she's running with it. And you're the sucker that's going to get stuck paying off this $20,000 car. I guarantee it to you. And so integrity is a deal breaker in an engagement. Not unless you get yourself a complimentary car. Oh, come on, you guys. I was just kidding, okay? <laughs> yeah. So we need to get to the I bottom. I didn't know how to get around, how to get about to find out. I think you just go, you... listen, I'm really, 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 really not okay. No, no, that is not what you do. You call the bank. You call your region or whatever bank of bank USA, right? Your cosigner. And it, there is one good thing about being a cosigner. You have access to the account. You have legal access to the account as a cosigner. And you don't tell her. You don't say to her, hey, honey, I'm going to go into the bank. Okay? No. You just walk into the bank on your lunch hour, whatever. Don't tell her. Don't take her with you. And you say, I would like to see a printout of these this month's transactions. Or I would like, and you ask them to see a printout. If that information is not on the printout she canceled the checks i can tell you right now she canceled the checks i can save a whole lot of work just tell you she canceled the checks this is the sort of thing where you know i know ramsey says we need to have a discussion this is this is one of those things where there, there needs to be no discussion you she needs to just come home and find out find out you packed and left that, that's all that really needs to happen the sad part is she suckered you into co-signing that's the sad part so in some ways it's like you're married and tied to each other whether you want to be or not and you make 20000 a year. I'd have to ask, without getting nosy, but, you know, I'm going to get nosy. Why do you only make 20000 a year? That, that would be a question I would have to ask. I don't know is there, if, if, if there's something involved. I'm not going to jump to conclusions. You know, maybe, maybe he's doing the best job that he can under his circumstances. And we don't really know about his circumstances, which is something I would actually like to know. Because it can also tell you, we already know she's using him, but it can really give us insight. You know, is she really using him? We already know she is, but I, I want to know how much. Is this somebody who really doesn't have the ability to, you know, make, you know, a, a, a decent income? Because, you know, there are special cir cir circumstances and situations. I would like to know why. He only makes 20000 a year. With the way this is going right now, and um, we're going to have to get to the bottom of this. I've got to understand how in the world I can see a payment going in and then it is turned around and removed. That does not make any sense. And y yes, it does make sense. Yes, it makes total sense. I understand why he's saying it doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. It's because you're with somebody who's pocketing the money. She's making it look like it's going, which, by the way, if she's going to do all that crap, 
I, I would be looking at her job. If I were an employer, whew, I would say, I, I want to see the books and I want to see the records. Because this is the type of woman, in my opinion, that would steal on a job. Oh, yes. She would steal on the job. And I'm not going to just accept that, oh, that's that they screwed it up. I really have got to understand this. You've got to show it to me. I'm not okay with this situation. This is a major problem in our relationship. He should have said that before he signed, co-signed on the loan. He should have said that before he co-signed the loan. This is why I would really like insight into his uh, background. I mean, let, let's just throw some ideas. Is she dealing with someone with an extreme disability that, you know, maybe is very limited, that, that doesn't have the um, ability or the mental capacity, resources, whatever, to go out and get a mainstream, better paying job? In other words, it would, it would only add fuel to how much I dislike her if, I, if it turned out, you know, th this, this guy has uh, problems, issues. Uh, life circumstance and situation where he's very vulnerable. He's he, he is what you would consider to be a vulnerable member of society. That makes her more icky than she already is. Are you calling me a liar? Not yet. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm calling you a liar. But I've got to right. know that before I can move forward. Your gut instinct tells you. Your gut instinct tells you. The fact that you're calling in on a radio show tells you. The fact that you can't find the records tells you. Sometimes I think we need so much validation for our gut instincts, for our feelings. If that's what holds us back, is that we feel like we need validation. When really, you, you don't. The, the, something I've learned the older I've gotten, I, I don't need validation. I already know it. And um, okay. so, I haven't talked to her about it, but not. I haven't asked for. I did ask for um, a bank statement, but she's got two different banks. And she probably has a third hidden, and maybe even a fourth. Anything she shows you, buddy, d don't don't take it for real. I would. This this would be the type of woman to print out a fake bank statement. Yeah. This would be the type of woman to go, okay, I printed out a fake fake bank statement. What you can do with technology these days, it's not even that hard. And um, So let me just tell you. Know. Let me just... You want to see the canceled bank receipt. That is the only way I would trust anything from someone like this gal. The only way. Go to the bank. I want to see the canceled check payment. I want to see the canceled receipt. Just tell you, listening to you talk, there's other stuff that's gone on where she's jacked around and not told the truth yeah. and told little white lies, yeah. and that's why you're fishing so deep in this pond. And I'm even willing to bet she's probably got another guy, too. Oh, th th this is the type, this woman can be very skanky. Am I missing yeah. something there? No. You got a problem, dude. Uh, th thank you, Dave. Thank you. Yeah. He has a serious problem. And he's got problems on multiple fronts because he can't just dump this chick. And I'm, using, and I'm using the nice word. He can't just dump her. He really can't. He, he has a baby with her. They have a car. They have a car together. They are tied together. The only saving grace is they're not married to each other. That's the only saving grace. So he, he, he can move out. You got a problem. The two of you need to be sitting in front of a marriage counselor for pre-marriage. They're not married. There's no, there's, Dave, why are you recommending pre-marriage for them? There is no pre-marriage to talk about. Counseling and get to the bottom of this. And you bought a car with this woman. Oh. Be glad, be, be glad you don't have a six pound baby coming out. That, 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 dude, I'm telling, oh my God. Have a baby with a woman like this? Whoo. She, she will put you in the broke house and then some. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. What does it cost? What does a package cost? About, I don't know, $6? This is the family channel. <laughs> My lord. Yeah. You got a problem. 
think it's six dollars. Yeah, because you, sure. you 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 know stuff you're not telling me right now. That's what that's what's happening. I can feel it. So I'm not gonna dig any further. This ain't. It, Dave, dig, dig. That's what we're here for. Please shovel. My deal, but um. If you were my son, I would tell you what I just told you, and that's get in front of a good pastor, get in front of a good marriage. No, 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 no. This is not the woman to marry. If you were, if you were my child, I'm 56. If you were my son, and that's so, that's so scary. And I thought, oh my God, I've been teaching 18 years. So I thought if I had a baby the first year I taught, I'd have an 18 year old. So yeah, I'm qualified. Um, of course, I'm not a parent, but I'm still qualified. I, I would tell him this isn't. The, the, this this relationship has no further discussion. Okay? Unfortunately, you have the car. You're going to have to pay it off. The rest of it, let it go. This is the type of woman that will take you straight into the gutter with her. And God knows what issues she has. I don't know if it's a spending problem. I don't know if she has a gambling problem, drug problem, whatever. This is like the, um, what is it, the black widow that has her little web spread everywhere. You got caught in that web. Get yourself the hell out of it. Well, all you have to deal with is a $20,000 car that is going to have to be paid off. And here's the kicker. It's her car, too. I believe the car is... Oh, yeah. All he did was co-sign. Honey, get out of this relationship while it only costs you a $20,000 car before you get the girl knocked up and now it's the rest of your life. In one way or another. Even if you divorce later. It's still the rest of your life to some extent counselor and start doing some in-depth pre-marriage counseling and drag all of these issues out on the table and let's really you know the other times that she didn't tell the truth the other times there was a quote why, why is he even encouraging marriage counseling for this there is nothing to marriage counsel over there is nothing to marriage counsel and have you also considered that part of the reason she chose him so to speak is because of his financial situation and what an honor it is to make twenty thousand dollars a year and this professional woman comes along and she makes seventy thousand and she just you, you, you feel like she's just lifting you she's freaking using you. she's using you buddy she's using you i lie unquote these are deal breakers this has to be solved i don't see why he has to solve anything there is nothing to solve there's nothing to talk about because you're going to spend the rest of your life questioning everything the woman says if you don't trust her about anything. When she goes on vacation, when she goes on a business trip. When she, I'm, I'm telling you, she's got other people helping her pay her bills. This guy's just the sucker that she chose her, this spindle of web. But nah, th th this, this woman isn't worth the time of day. And she's... When you're out on a business trip and she's home, when, when she's at the grocery store, everything is in question when everything's in question. And that's just, life is too short. So you've got to get to the bottom of this and feel good about her character to move forward in the relationship. That's just man-to-man -man talking. That has nothing to do with finances. As far as that's not even man-to-man -man talking. That's, a woman. That, that, that's me telling a guy, run, run from her. There are much better quality women out there, even those that have had two bankruptcies. There are still better quality women out there. As the finances go, if this thing bottoms out, you're going to be forcing the sale of a car here. I hope your name is on the ownership of the car, not just co-signed it. I hope no, no, I can pretty much tell you that the, 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 he most likely um, got root beer on me. Uh, I can pretty much tell you that he most likely just co-signed. I hope it's on the ownership, but I wouldn't make a dollar bet on it. Hope you didn't get messed over to that degree. He did. But, um, yeah. Yeah, you got a mess. All right, people. It's the end of today's uh, chat. Oh, what direction am I putting this thing? There we go. All right. I'm Carrie. This is Student Loan Chit Chat. I want to thank you for joining me today. I do hope you will consider subscribing, and you have a great day. Bye.